Hi, and welcome to Craggle. We develop tools for the VFX industry. This is a documentation video of Smart Message, an instant messenger for Nuke and Maya. Using Smart Message, you can exchange text messages and share a variety of data, including nodes, 3D elements like cameras and geometry, URLs, images, and so on, directly in the chat, which makes collaborating amongst artists intuitive and super fast. But first, let's install Smart Message, and then let's explore its features. First, let's have a look at how to install Smart Message for Nuke. Like any other Kraggle product, Smart Message can be installed with Kraggle Connect directly inside Nuke. For more information about Connect, please visit the link below. So open Connect and drag Smart Message to the right to reveal more information if it's not already opened. Then just click on Buy and you'll be located to the web page where you can purchase Smart Message. After purchasing, you'll receive a mail including a coupon code. Now simply click on Install, enter your received coupon code, and Smart Message will be installed automatically on your machine. To install Smart Message for Maya, please take the following steps. By purchasing Smart Message, you receive a link to download Smart Message. Alternatively, you can also download it from your personal Kraggle account. When you have purchased any Kraggle tool, you can create a personal Kraggle account, which grants you access to all your licenses, tool downloads, personal data, and a support ticket system. Simply go to our website and navigate to Login. In here, click the Register link and fill in all the inputs. Please make sure to enter the same email address that you used to buy our Kraggle tool. You can now log in to your personal Kraggle account. In here you can find the link to manually download the tool. After downloading, you can put the unzipped Smart Message folder anywhere on your machine and locate to this path. As I've previously installed Smart Message via Kraggle Connect, it is now located inside my Nuke home directory. Let's navigate to the Smart Message directory. So let's jump to the Nuke home directory and go to the Kraggle folder. In here you will find the subdirectory Kraggle Tools. And in there you will find Smart Message. Let's copy the path. In order to point to that folder, we have to edit our Maya environment file. It is located in your system as follows. If your folder doesn't contain a Maya environment file, simply create a blank text file and save it as a Maya environment file. Let's open the Maya environment file with the text editor and add this line. Maya underscore module underscore path equals and then paste the copy path of our smart message folder. You don't need any quotation marks in here. So the installation is finished. When successfully installed, smart message should appear in Maya's menu bar. Later on, we'll switch to Maya and see how to access Smart Message in here. First, let's have a look at Smart Message in Nuke. After the installation is finished, you will now find the new submenu Smart Message inside your Kraggle menu. To open Smart Message in Nuke 9, you will find a new entry in your pane menu under Windows, Custom, Smart Message. In Nuke 8, you will find it under Pane, Smart Message. Let's save the window layout as our start layout, so that Smart Message will be shown in our interface whenever we launch Nuke. Smart Message basically offers two options. On the one hand, you can use it as a local network in a team. This can be inside your company, for example. All data that Smart Message generates is then stored on a local path which all artists can access. In most cases, that will be a server that all artists are connected to. You can also use an additional shared cloud folder. When you use the local option, then all data is stored locally, and the computers don't need to be connected to the web, which makes it interesting for companies in which the computers are not connected to the internet for security reasons. On the other hand, you can log in to a worldwide community. Then, all data is stored on our server, no matter which option you choose, or if you use both options, the data is always safe cryptid and only the communication partners themselves can read the chat. Here on the right, we find both login forms. 
Up here we have the worldwide community and down here we have the local network. First let's connect to the worldwide community. For that you need a global smart message user account. To create an account please navigate to Craggle, Smart Message, Settings. Smart Message offers some settings that you can edit here. Later we will have a closer look at this window. For now let's switch to the second tab New User. In here we can create new global as well as local users. Let's create a global user. So let's check the global checkbox and fill in all inputs. If you want to you can also browse a user icon or skip that part and do that later. Finally let's click on register. Your account will be set up and you will receive a mail including a link to activate your global account. Please make sure to also check your spam folder. After clicking the activation link you can now log in to the global community. When you're successfully logged in, you can see your Kraggle contact list here. So to start a chat, we can just double click on the user that we like to chat with. So let's type in a message and send it. The other user will get a notification and can reply. Smart message is intuitive and pretty simple to use. It's basically similar to any other instant messenger out there, but with the advantage that it resides directly inside Nuke and Maya. Another interesting aspect of Smart Message is that sending data is simple and super fast. Smart Message lets you share a variety of data. Let's have a look at sending nodes. You just select the nodes that you like to send, copy them, and paste them into the text chat. The node stack is then converted into a single line. Now the other artist just needs to click on it and the note stack will be inserted into his DAG immediately. The other artist sent me some nodes as well. So let's click on the icon and the nodes are inserted into my DAG. You can also send images, URLs, which directly opens your web browser when you click on it and even 3D data like an animated camera. A 3D artist sent me a camera. He exported the camera as an Alembic or an FBX file and dragged it into the chat. And with just one click, I can import the camera that my 3D artist has prepared for me. If you right click a history, you can filter the message by a specific time. Let's only show the messages of the last 10 hours for example. To add new users to your contact list, simply right click on the list and hit add new user. Just type in the email address of the registered user and press the add button. Now the artist is added to your contact list and you are added to his. You can sort your contact list by alphabet or status. There are three status that you can set manually for yourself. Just right click your name here at the top and choose set status, online, busy or offline. In here you can set and update your user icon. Smart Message also offers some settings. In this menu here at the top you can open the settings. The settings can also be accessed with Nuke's menu bar via Craggle, Smart Message, Settings. In here you have several options to change the behavior of Smart Message. Let's have a look at the bottom section first. Here you can switch the visibility of send dates on and off and if you like to see a notification when a person has written you a message. Furthermore you can change the contact list sorting method. If you want to you can enable a notification sound when you get a new message and you can set the default of displaying the recent messages and the chosen time. As we have already seen on the second tab you can create new users. In order to use the local community you need to set a data directory. That is a folder in which all data that is generated by Smart Message will be stored. Let's switch back to the settings tab. Here at the top you can create data directories. This will be a directory which can be accessed by all other artists. In most cases this will be a directory on your server. In addition you can also use a shared cloud folder. 
you can set up as many data directories as you like. To set up a data directory, let's click on Create New Data Directory. Let's enter a name. The name will be displayed in a second in this list above and is useful for you to distinguish it from other data directories. Next, let's set a path. You can either set a path to an empty or an existing data directory. Finally, let's click on Create New Data Directory. The data directory will be displayed here at the top. As mentioned, you can create as many data directories as you like. As the data directory is set up, let's now create a local user. So let's switch to the second tab. Let's check the local checkbox and enter the values. Again, if we like, we can set an icon or skip that part and do it later. For this demonstration video, we have already set up some other users who point to the same data directory. So to log in locally, we can use the login form below. When successfully logged in, we can all see all local contacts and start chatting the same way like we have seen before. So in the local community, you actually don't have to add users to your contact list. Everybody who is connected to the same data directory will be shown here in the list. So now we're online both locally and globally, and both messengers can run simultaneously. Let's switch to Maya. Smart Message can be accessed via Kraggle Smart Message. So here it looks the same, and the user has the same features. Of course, Nuke Notes can't be accessed within Maya, but you can start a chat and send images, URLs, and 3D data as well. All the features in Maya work the same way, so there is no need to show it again. So this was a documentation video of Smart Message, an instant messenger for Nuke and Maya. It helps you to connect to digital artists from all over the world and makes collaborating simple and fast.